Well, hello scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And I thought I'd do a quick video on my home-built improvised ball mill down here because I've been getting a lot of questions about it, especially after the recent couple of series I did. Um, the one where I was processing bulk IC chips through it to get the gold. I'll put a link to that video in the upper right. That was a very popular series. Thank you to everybody who watched it. Also, in an earlier series, I recovered silver from tantalum capacitors. After incinerating them, I crushed them up in this ball mill. So, this has appeared in a few series lately, but actually this is a few years old. Anyway, I'll put a link to the uh, silver from tantalum capacitor series in the upper right, too. You can check that out. Um, anyway, this is a few years old. It's not new, but uh, I think there's a lot of new people on the channel that haven't seen it before. And they're asking about it in the comments of the videos or emailing me, wanting to know um, how I built it, basically. What parts are required, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so this is just an inexpensive vibratory tumbler. It's a large size one, so those are a little bit more expensive than the cheap small ones. Um, let's see here. I think I got this one at Harbor Freight years and years ago. Um... I don't know if they still sell this model or not. I haven't checked. Uh, I have to say this thing has been very reliable for something I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, Amazon also sells them for something that looks almost identical, basically. So you can also get it on Amazon. There's not a Harbor Freight near you. Um, anyway, let me open it up and I'll show you. You know, a lot of people use this stuff for, like, deburring or metal parts or finishing, shining up metal parts or or you know cleaning up shell casings or something like that you know you can use a variety of different media in it for cleaning up different things me well I take it to an entirely different level and use it for something it was never designed for um, I've got this filled up with about you know 20 some pounds of different size steel ball bearings in here so yeah that's that's what I use this thing as when it's vibrating these ball bearings are jumping around in there, smashing against each other, smashing against the bowl. And they do a really good job of turning, you know, hard stuff into a powder. Yeah, you know, all over my gloves here. That's why I'm wearing gloves. I knew it'd be dirty in there. I ran some more tantalum capacitors through this a while ago. I need to dump all these balls out and clean them off before I do... Um, gold again, or they'll be contaminated with silver from the tantalum capacitors. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically it. Um, I've got like one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch balls in here, a big mix of them. Yeah, so let me start it up and show you what goes on in here. Yes, it's really loud, although it's a little quieter with the lid on. But uh, you can see how the balls bounce around in there, and they will crush stuff up as they bang against each other. And what's cool here is the vibration of the bowl tends to make the resulting power, powder from the crushing action climb the sides of the bowl. And it climbs up. You can kind of see a little line up there. It kind of climbs up to that line there. So if I open this up while it's running there'll be a nice line of powder all along the edges. And I can just take my vacuum cleaner, my shop vac, and sh vacuum out the resulting powder. Makes it really easy to get the powder out of this thing. And uh, then I can just put more stuff in, crush it, vacuum the powder out. Keep the good times rolling. Works great. Um, there'll be links in this video description to, you know, everything. <laughs> There's not that much here. But I'll put links in the video description if you're interested in putting one of these together. It's not hard. You just buy the tumbler, the vibratory tumbler. You fill it up with different size ball bearings. You put something in it you want crushed and let it run for a while. And it will crush it into a fine powder generally if it can be crushed. If it's, you know, something that's, that's fairly brittle, it'll, it'll crush it up. Works pretty well. So it's just a quick video. For those people out there who wanted to know about this, like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately. 
And rather than answering all the questions individually, I thought I'd just make a quick video. So there you go. For those of you who are interested in my ball mill, how I built it, where I got the stuff, how it works, there you go. All right, so thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Give it a like. And I'll see you in the next video. Maybe we'll be working with the ball mill again. Bye.